Hey mamas, welcome to the Mom on Point podcast. I'm Valen. I will be your host every Tuesday. This is a fun, safe space where we can discuss motherhood in all its complexity. This includes loss, friendship, mental health, wellness, parenting, marriage, and as a postpartum doula, the postpartum period, and also identities. Throughout our lives, and especially motherhood, we experience so many identity shifts and changes. And I think we need more conversations surrounding the hard stuff, the things that matter most. And some of those things are really uncomfortable and no one likes to talk about it, but I do. So download this episode, play it in the car while doing errands or just hanging out at home. And I hope you enjoy this episode. Let's dive in. Hey mama, so happy you're here with the Mama on Point podcast for this holiday episode. Um, a lot's been going through my mind. Holidays have been hard. Um, I put a post on my page and had some moms comment about just the hard things that they're going through right now in this season. And, excuse me, a lot of us struggle during the holidays. I know we see a lot of happiness and, you know, hashtag mom goals and stuff on Instagram with cookie decorating and decor and presents and things like that. But that's not the reality of the holidays. The holidays are a big time when we reminisce. We have some of our most cherished memories with people who are no longer with us. We are missing people who are, cannot be in our lives. We're missing babies that we've lost. We're struggling financially or we're burnt out or we just don't have the energy. The last few years, I mean, since I lost Evelyn, so 2019, um, pandemic started <clears throat> March, 2020. So after that, but it's been, I've had so much trouble finding joy, right? I'm on a journey. I've been sharing that with you guys and I found how to do it, but even knowing how it's hard sometimes, sometimes I just want to sit in my grief and my sadness and kind of work through it. And so I just want to kind of talk about all the things that people are going through right now that you might not have thought about or, You wonder why somebody you know isn't happy or you're wondering how you can fix it. And really there's no, I mean, there's no quick fix. You can't just, you know, change your thoughts in one day. Um, Things take time, but I guess we just kind of want to talk about that. Sorry, I'm finding my um, post that I made so we can kind of talk about things that people are going through. Um, But let's just talk in general. Um, A lot of us miss family, whether it's because we're a military family and we're thousands of miles away. We don't have the financial ability to travel, you know, with two parents, three or four or five, six kids. Um, You've moved away from work and you can't get home. You might not have family. You might have estranged family. Um, You might have lost a baby. No matter what stage, you, you know, losing a baby is something that stays with you, just like losing a family member. Um, A lot of us don't have the energy to celebrate or even enjoy the holidays. Some people, it might be easier, but some of us, it takes a lot of effort on our part to make a shopping list, go get the stuff for the cookies, bake the cookies, make the frosting, let our kids decorate, make a mess, you know, and all the anxiety that comes with that and the, oh my God, all the cleanup again when our house is already messy. Like it's a lot, excuse me. And 
you don't need to feel bad about that. We'll talk more about that in a little bit, but um, some of us are burnt out from no support. You know, um, we don't have our parents that come down and take care of the kids so we can have a break or just stay with us while they play, you know, and we can take showers or we can run for groceries or whatever it is. We don't have that. My dad was visiting, but he's getting older and it's harder for him to drive down here eight hours. Um, so that's just not something we have. And honestly, I, when I see my friends and pages and they just, they have these great families and they have support and they have people they can count on, you know, to help them with the kids, to help them get through things. I am freaking jealous. Like I like have a FOMO with grandparents. I always feel like I'm missing out because I don't have parents that are active in our kids' lives and it sucks because we have them. They just, they don't make the commitment to come down here and <clears throat> excuse me, that's really hard on the kids too. You know, they want to see their grandparents and we're sorry, you know, it's hard for them to get down here. All the excuses we could possibly give one day, I'm sure it won't work, but there's, there's also then, um, grief, grief from whatever experience you've gone through, a traumatic experience, uh, um, anything like that, you know, grief is your own personal experience. And most of us carry it in some form or another. Um, we have sadness and guilt about not carrying out traditions because like I mentioned before, having the energy to do those things is, has been very hard to muster the last couple of years. Um, I can't pinpoint exactly what it is, but I'm sure it has to do with us being isolated and alone and then not knowing how to ask for help, not being able to ask for help, worried about getting people sick, worried about whatever it is. It's just, it's so hard. I'm telling you guys, like my tree is not even fully decorated. Uh, we still have like all of our special ornaments that we haven't put up yet. It just it hasn't happened. Haven't wrapped any gifts yet because honestly, my toddler will probably tear them all apart. And that's just another thing. I, all of my decorations are in the garage and their bins. I have not been able to commit to putting them out. You know, I, and I'm a, I love holidays. I love celebrating and decorating and doing all the things. And I did for the longest time uh, with my girls. And then after I lost Evelyn, I kind of got into a rut, I guess you would call it. But so I, I just wanted to say it's okay if you feel like shit right now. It's okay if you don't feel like laughing or being happy or not being able to find the bright side of things right now. Like, I don't know how we don't all have mental breakdowns, but that's besides the point, I guess. I'm just, you know, for me, something I've always missed, something I've always, always, um, wanted was a mom, a mom I could count on, a mom that would be there for me, a mom that doesn't hold things against me and, you know, calls me names or uh, uses me to her advantage as much as possible. You know, just, I always just wanted a good mom. And during the holidays, that hits me harder. And it sucks. I'm also missing my grandma. <clears throat> my grandma Irene died last year um, on the 22nd. So two days from now, it'll be a year. And there was a lot of terrible circumstances around that. But my greatest memories are with my grandma at my grandma's house. You guys, my grandma had this living room, okay? And it was 
let me just, let me see if I can explain this in just amazing detail. The, oh, excuse me, the carpets were bright red. There were bright red velvet chairs, armchairs in the living room, swivel chairs, actually. A red couch that matched the chairs. The wallpaper was white and red, white background, red flowers that were velvet. Like, I, if you remember, like, the Home Alone house, like, the tacky green and reds and, the, like, it was my grandma's house, but it was all red. But during the holidays, it was the most amazing thing. They would get an eight-foot tree, and it would be decorated with just the most beautiful things. A lot of them that my grandma made. You know, my grandparents were poor their entire life, and... My grandma was the most resourceful, most creative person I have ever met in my entire life. And she taught me so much how to draw, how to sew, how to paint. Just, she was the most patient person with me and she loved me beyond anything. And so those memories come up because that is where I had a lot of happiness as a child was at her house and not having her here this year has been really terrible. And then of course, everything else I'm missing Evelyn. Um, I wish that we had more support. I wish that, you know, just you guys were all going through hard things. And even though somebody might not look like it on the social media, that's not the truth. And if they are truly happy and, you know, they're, things are going great and they're not suffering, I am so happy for them. God, I wish that on everybody, but we all have to go through this shit. And it's okay. It's okay if your children you know, don't get as much as they normally do. It's okay if you don't do cookies with them. It's okay if you don't do crafts with them. Just spend time with them. Time is your greatest asset. It's non-renewable. It's, once it's gone, it's gone. So a few action steps you can take to try to make things it won't take away the unhappiness or the depression or the anxiety and, but they can help you in the moment that you're in. So the first thing you can do is pick one thing that you used to enjoy or that you would want to enjoy something that looks fun, you know, a holiday is something. And then I want you to do it. I want you to make a plan. Pick a day, pick a time, inform those who are going, if, even if it's just your husband or your wife and your kids. Excuse me, my gosh, guys. Um, and then set the intention of how you want that day to be. Whether you say it out loud or in your head, but I want this day to feel good. I want this day to start out beginning, middle, and end. I want it to be a good day. I want to be patient. I want to find joy in the moments that we share. Be intentional about how you want the day to be. And then you repeat the intention every day until, you know, your, your, your day is there to do whatever it is you choose. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then that day you set the intention in the morning before you get out of bed. It's going to be a great day. Kids are going to have fun. We're going to have fun. I'm going to find happiness and joy in some part of this day. It's going to be a beautiful day. Just set your intention for it. Okay. The next thing that you can do is to stay in the moment with your kids or family. Please don't worry about yesterday or tomorrow. Just focus on where you are right now with your kids with your spouse, with your family. And know that 
that day will never come again. You might not be with all these people ever again. And you need to soak it up. Stay in the now. Stay in the present. When you feel yourself drifting in your brain, you have to intentionally draw yourself back. You can do that by like rubbing the tips of your fingers together, um, doing something with your senses, smell the food, go take a walk, move your body, go talk to somebody, be intentional and be aware. Now, for those of us who have lost a baby, some things you can do is um, create an ornament for the tree or order one with her, his or her picture or name, birth date, um, any of that stuff. It's tangible. You can put it on your tree. You can see it. Um, you can get a new picture frame for your favorite photo of your baby that you have. It, you know, make it festive, make it holiday theme if that's what you, what you want, or girly or, you know, boyish, whatever. Um, you can also light a candle on Christmas for your baby to say a wish, speak words to them. Just again, being aware and setting the intention to talk to your baby. My girls all like saying a wish when we light candles. And so these are just some things you can do. It's I know you're having a hard time. I'm having a hard time. But my intention is to enjoy as much as I can. So I'm actually going to go wrap presents because that's something that brings me joy. And, oh, excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Just hang in there. Something else that you can do that will always help is helping somebody else. If you know somebody else is having a bad time, <clears throat> Bring them their favorite coffee. Bring them a, just a thinking about you card or gift. Send them an email, a text, a phone call. Just do something for somebody else. That not only keeps you in the now, but it makes you feel better. And there's never a lack of people who need help. There are always people that need help, even if those needs are invisible. I hope you guys have a beautiful day and a beautiful week. Even if things are hard, find the joy in just the little moments that you can. It won't be all the time, but you can find pockets of joy in places if you are there and aware. And I will see you guys next week. Bye, mamas. Thank you so much for joining me with the Mom on Point podcast. I hope you found some inspiration, some joy, maybe some new information that can help you heal, feel better, or just get through the day. If you've loved the pod podcast, please like and comment and let me know what you think. I read and respond to all comments personally, and it really helps others discover me who may need my message too. You can also find me on Instagram at Valen Webb. You can email me at info.valenweb at gmail.com. Again, that's info.valenweb at gmail.com. Or you can check out my website where I have tons of free resources and freebies at valenweb.com. I look forward to hearing from you. I'll add all these things on the show notes. Feel free to check them out anytime. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you next Tuesday.